The MacPro Help Desk team welcomes your suggestions for our training and reference materials. Please contact us with your feedback and comments on this training or if you need other MacPro assistance. You may contact us via email at macpro underscore helpdesk at cms.hhs.gov or by phone at 301-547-4688. So let's talk about what MacPro is. During this portion, we will discuss MacPro's current and future functionality and features, as well as the benefits of using MacPro. MacPro is a web-based system that allows CMS and states to collaborate more effectively online in support of Medicaid and CHIP initiatives. Current MacPro functionality includes quality measure reporting, Medicaid state plan amendments, or SPAs, which include for health homes and eligibility and administration authorities. MacPro is an ever-growing product and in the future will also include benefit and payment SPAs and managed care contracts. In time, MacPro will replace the Medicaid Model Data Lab, or MMDL, and other paper-based processes. By allowing states and CMS to collaborate online for Medicaid and CHIP initiatives, the benefits of MacPro include ensured data consistency, improved efficiency, increased transparency, established clear communication processes, enable data-driven decision-making, and a centralization of multiple reporting systems. Now we will go over how you access MacPro. During this section, we will cover how to obtain MacPro access via the, center, the CMS Enterprise Portal, which is also referred to as EIDM, and the MacPro application. If you have already obtained access to MacPro, the, the next few slides are for new users and will be a refresher for you. Here are the six main actions that new users need to take to obtain access to MacPro. The first three steps, noted in orange, are to be completed in the Enterprise Identity Management System, or EIDM. The second three steps, in blue, are done in the MacPro system. Let's talk about the first portion and EIDM. The Enterprise, Identity the Enterprise Identity Management or EIDM system is an identity management and services system providing access to numerous CMS applications. Users have one EIDM ID for ident identity proofing access across multiple applications. So while you may have while, while you may not have used MacPro, you may already be familiar with EIDM. To get access to MacPro, new users must first obtain an EIDM ID and then request an EIDM role for MacPro. Existing EIDM holders will request the MacPro state user role. On this slide, we have a few commonly asked questions about EIDM. We've discussed the first two, so let's jump down to the third one. When do I obtain an EIDM ID and EIDM role for MacPro? All new users may obtain an EIDM ID and or request an EIDM role for MacPro at this time, if you have not done so already. We would like to stress again that, you, that users should hold only one EIDM ID even if they are accessing multiple CMS applications through the EIDM portal. And finally, how do I access EIDM? It is accessed through the CMS Enterprise Portal at https colon forward slash forward slash portal.cms.gov. Now that we've talked about EIDM, Let's look at the second line, which addresses requesting a MacPro role.
Distinct user roles have been established for CMS, state, and business support users within the Mac Pro system. These roles determine in what capacity an individual will utilize Mac Pro. You can request a Mac Pro role once you have obtained an EIDM ID and have requested and been granted Mac Pro access. If you are reporting quality measures, you will request user roles for quality measures. We'll talk more about the available state roles in just a few min minutes. The Mac Pro website is located at https colon forward slash forward slash macpro.cms.gov. The process we just went over is an overview of the steps that a new user would need to take to access Mac Pro. We understand that you all may be starting at different stages, so we have a few scenarios that may apply to you that correspond with how to obtain the Mac Pro access process. If you are a new user without an EIDM ID or Mac Pro access in EIDM, you should begin with step one to register an EIDM ID and then continue through step six, which is receiving approval for role requests in Mac Pro. And if you are a new user with an existing EIDM ID, but you do not have Mac Pro access in EIDM, you should start with step two, requesting your access to Mac Pro through EIDM and then continue through to step six. Some of you may already be existing Mac Pro users for health, home, spa, or quality measures reporting. If that is the case, then you have an EIDM ID and you have approved Mac Pro access. You should begin at step five, which is requesting your additional Mac Pro user roles. Now let's talk about the state roles available for quality measures reporting. In this section, we'll learn about the state roles available in Mac Pro for quality measures and the different functions of these roles. This slide lists the Mac Pro quality measures user roles for states. In Mac Pro, a state user may have more than one quality measure role. For example, they could be a state editor and a state director or any other combination. To complete the proper workflow, it's important that all state roles have at least one assignee with the correct authorities. However, states are encouraged to have more than one assignee in each role to prevent disruptions to the workflow during a user's absence. Roles with an asterisk indicate that the role has administrative functions. Let's go over these roles in detail. First, the state editor, or SE, creates and assembles quality measure reports. They also provide content for the QM reports and respond to seek more information or SMI requests. The state point of contact, or SPOC, reviews and updates quality measure reports, uncertifies quality measure reports, and they may also respond to seek more information or SMI requests as well. The state director reviews quality measure reports and also certifies these reports. You may have noticed that the state system administrator or SSA has been noted on each of the previous roles as the role approver. The SSA reviews and dispositions state user role requests and also views state system reports. Their role approver is the CMS system administrator. While we won't be going it over, over it today, there's an appendix at the end of the slide deck that provides high level and detailed workflows of the reporting process that note the steps taken by each role. Now that we've gone through an overview of Mac Pro, let's take a look at the Federal Fiscal Year 2018 Mac Pro system updates for quality measure reporting. Here, we'll talk about system-specific changes and updates for adult, child, 
and health homes quality measures. The abbreviation AD is displayed at the end of each of the names of all adult quality core measures and integrated care model or ICM has been added to the delivery system section on the admin screen. Three new core measures have also been added. We have included them on this slide. For child quality measure reports in 2018, the abbreviation CH is displayed at the end of the names and integrated care model or ICM has been added to the delivery system section on the admin screen. There are also three new core measures added to this uh, authority and they're also listed on the slide. For all health homes core measures, the abbreviation HH has been added has been added to the end of the name. All right, now we'll go over some tips and tricks for using Mac Pro. Items that we'll discuss in this section include the report summary screen, the print to PDF functionality, consolidated print preview threshold, the timeout prompt, and optimal web browsers. A tool that is helpful for users is the report summary screen. It is available when a user accesses a quality measures report through the records tab. The timeline at the top of the screen indicates what stage of the workflow a report is currently in. The created stage indicates that the report is with the state editor and it has not yet been submitted to the state point of contact. In updates says that the report is with the state editor following submission to the SPOC. This means that the SPOC returned the report to the state editor for further revisions. In review, this means that the report is with the SPOC. At this stage, the SPOC is currently reviewing the report before submitting to the state director. Awaiting certification notes that the report is currently with the state director. Once the report has been reviewed, the state director must certify and submit the report to CMS. In CMS review, this stage tells us that the report has been successfully submitted to CMS and is under review. In SMI, this would mean that CMS had further revisions on the report. It can mean that the report is with the state or CMS. If the report is with the state, this means that CMS has submitted their Seek More Information request to the state. If it's with CMS, that means that CMS is reviewing the state's response to the SMI request and has not yet closed it. And finally, CMS review complete. This means that CMS has completed their review of your report and has approved it. In MacPro, users are able to save and print their quality measure reports as PDF documents. Please note that there are maybe differences in capabilities between browsers. There are detailed instructions available on Medicaid.gov. MacPro has limitations on the amount of concurrent consolidated print previews that can be generated system-wide by users at a given time. If you attempt to generate a consolidated print preview and you reach the threshold, you will receive the consolidated print preview threshold reached warning message that is shown on this slide. You should wait five minutes and then try to print again. A Mac Pro session timeout occurs when users lose connectivity, observe issues with system responsiveness, or encounter issues navigating through Mac Pro after working in the system for a period of time. To avoid a session timeout, you must routinely select Save while entering data or validate your entries periodically. After working in Mac Pro for 25 minutes without performing an action, which is validating or saving entries, users will receive a prompt that indicates your session is about to expire as shown on the image on this slide. Upon receiving this prompt, 
You may continue your session by selecting Resume within two minutes. If you do not acknowledge the prompt within two minutes, you will automatically be logged out of Mac Pro. Please note, performing an action in Mac Pro is defined as routinely validating or saving entries. Simply entering data is not considered performing an action. It is recommended that you select Save periodically while logged in to Mac Pro. This slide outlines web browser version details and software requirements for accessing Mac Pro, as well as web browser and software information related to using the print to PDF functionality within the system. Please note that Google Chrome is the optimal web browser for use with Mac Pro and that Internet Explorer users must have version 11 to access Mac Pro. Let's go over some additional resources that are available to users to help guide you while using Mac Pro. For issues related to Mac Pro access and how to use Mac Pro, please contact the Mac Pro Help Desk at macpro underscore helpdesk at cms.hhs.gov or call 301-547-4684. Or you can select the Request System Help link within Mac Pro. To help expedite an answer to your question, here's information that should be provided in an email request to the Help Desk. Your contact information, the component and authority that you are using, such as Mac Pro Quality Measures, HHQM, should also give a detailed description of your inquiry. If applicable, specify the last screen or activity that was performed before you experienced the issue. And when possible, include screenshots of the issue that you are experiencing. The Medicaid.gov website also provides a number of resources that can assist you in using Mac Pro, including introductory reference documents, also known as IRDs, and slide decks and recordings of past training sessions. You can navigate to these pages on Medicaid.gov by selecting Resources for States and then Medicaid and CHIP Program Portal. Here are direct links to those pages. The first link contains information including IRDs and the second link contains presentation slides and video demonstrations of these processes as well. Let's talk about next steps. As we mentioned at the start of our training, quality measures for federal fiscal year 2018 will be available soon within Mac Pro. Please keep an eye out for an announcement once it is available. If you do not already have an EIDM ID or Mac Pro access, we recommend that you do that soon. Instructions providing an overview to gaining access to Mac Pro through the CMS Enterprise Portal are located on Medicaid.gov via the link included on this slide. And as a final reminder, the reporting deadline is January 11th, 2019. The Mac Pro Help Desk team welcomes your suggestions for our training and reference materials. Please contact us with your feedback and comments on this training or if you need other Mac Pro assistance. You may contact us via email at macpro underscore helpdesk at cms.hhs.gov or by phone at 301-547-4688.